welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, whatever this, 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 this weird YouTube channel is. Um, so I have a story to share with you all. I'm going to share, I, ha I have a lot of stories that has not seen the light of day that obviously I get a kick out of, so you should too. But on today's episode, we are going to be talking about the time I got catfished. Oh god, not this story again. But I gotta prepare myself first because this is a lot. So you better prepare yourself too. I'm gonna give you time. Three, two, one. I'm possibly ready. Hat's gotta go backwards. This is getting rough. Okay, I think I'm ready, but uh, let's just let's just get into this, okay? Well, one day I was just chilling, you know, didn't have nothing to do. Summer's here. Pretty much nothing to do, and just chilling, and my phone vibrates. It says so and so wants to message you on Instagram. So I mean checked you know see who it was you know yeah well it was some girl so she texted me and she said i really like your art and everything like that it's it, it's really cool and you're cute yeah so you know we went on a few weeks We'd, we we wasn't like a constant text you know i'd text her maybe once not even a day maybe and one day she asks me if i have a snapchat well, I mean, I do. So I gave her my Snapchat, and that night I was laying in bed and I was playing games. Well, about three o'clock in the morning, actually. Nobody is awake at three o'clock in the morning and wants to talk to me. So therefore, I decided, hey, I might as well just stroll through Snapchat. Why not? Well, it says she uploaded to her story, and I hit it. Worst day of my life. And you'll hear why here in a moment. Well, there's a picture of her. She's posing like this, right? Normal for a teenager girl. But the bottom caption wrote, I'm bored. Somebody please call me. Like I said, it's 3 o'clock in the morning. Nobody's talking to me. So I won't go to bed anytime soon, so I text her. You want to call? Worst mistake of my life. And she's like, sure, yeah, we'll call. I told her to call me. I didn't know how to work Snapchat. Still don't. So, she calls me, and I pick it up. And you hear all this static noise in the background. And it, she wasn't even talking. And we sat there for a minute, and I just went... Hello? What came next made my heart drop. Would you like to know what I heard? Hey, cutie pie. I heard a man's voice. <sighs> are you somehow getting what's gonna happen at the end of this story? I sure hope the hell you are. Cause if you're not, you're about to figure out. Me bamboozled as hell, not knowing what the hell's happening. I just get real quiet. And then it starts singing. But we're not talking about, you know, a normal song nowadays or back in the 80s rock or country. Y you wanna know what she'll sing? Taylor freaking Swift. I knew something was wrong with that point. But, but, but you know how Taylor Swift has that like loud high pitch singing just like Ariana Grande? This bitch sound like she was doing a chant. Talking about me scared? I was scared shitless. So I asked her why her voice was so freaking deep. And, and, and you want to hear their excuse? It would have worked any other time. But it uses during Corona to use this excuse. You want to hear it? It makes so much sense. This was its excuse. 
yeah, I'm sorry if I sound a little bit deep voiced. You know, I was at cheerleader practice a few hours ago and I'm kinda, I'm, I'm, I'm kinda hoarse. The whole time that it said that, you know what was going through my brain? Oh my God, it's a dude. It's nine times out of 10 got a penis. What if it's bigger than mine? Am I wrong for being scared right now? Cause I am. I'm scared. And you're probably asking, am I still scared? Very. I just find it so odd. It's hard to process. She was in cheerleading practice during social distancing. That and that don't match up. So I said nothing the whole time I was on the call. I sat off to the side, mostly saying, that's a dude. You are talking to a dude. You have every right to be scared right now. I swear to God, it's got a penis. So I literally thought to myself, what is a way that I can get out of this? Anything. And then it hit me. Apparently I got a friend addicted to crack and he tries to kill people. <laughs> And this is exactly what I said. Hey bro, I mean, uh, hey, uh, let me call you back. My friend's calling me and he is addicted to crack. And whenever he gets into his crack addict stages, he tries to kill people. And that's so on me. And one of the most scariest part of the calls, right before I hung up, it started playing Baby from Justin Bieber. That scared me even more. But after I told him about my crackhead friend and that I had to get off the call and skedaddle, this is what it said. It's okay, sugar bun. I'll call you later. Hell no, you won't. Bitch, I'm moving. And so, I ended that call as quick as I could. But of course, me being curious, I went back and viewed her Snapchat story again. And only then did I realize this bitch didn't have no titties. None. But I didn't look, I, I, I wasn't worried about that. Cause a lot of girls don't have boobs. But there's a thing about it. And I don't have an idea how I missed it. This thing had a Adam's apple the size of my fist. Y'all yeah, scared. Still am. And I think I set a new world record for blocking somebody on both Instagram and Snapchat less than a minute. And I didn't sleep at all that night. What also really scared me was I realized Snapchat had the map where you can see all of your followers and where they are. I still Keep one eye open when I sleep because of that. Talk about a horror movie on earth right there. Scary shit I've ever been through. But I hope y'all all learned a life lesson from this video. Don't call somebody you had just met on Instagram at 3 o'clock in the morning. Because it's possibly a dude. But I hope y'all enjoyed today's episode of the time I got catfished by a girl with a pecker. But keep tuning in and I'm gonna I'm 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 gonna keep doing videos like this just you know as a a funny reminder that this earth is screwed up. But I hope you enjoyed today's episode and like I said watch out. And also don't call people that you just met on Instagram at three o'clock in the morning. Then you're going to go through some trauma. Like I'm still doing. Bye-bye, everyone.